You have to fully understand what they want, and you should fully understand their behaviors. That that's a point. A lot of times, the programs can provide the fascinating diagrams, but you don't know where to look at it, and that's really bad design. Through this subject, human-computer interaction design, or or these principles. You gradually understand it's not the functionalities we are focusing on, in most cases, it's how we understand people's behavior. So that's the center of this whole subject. You know, treat human and the computer separately, and trying to find the connection between them. Sweden is an excellent place to study human-computer interaction design. You can see a lot of、uh, fantastic softwares. With excellent human-computer interaction design around you every day, you can find a very free, open space or a free, open environment here to do your research jobs, and、uh, and you are encouraged to de- debate with any professor you want, and and discuss with any classmates or or students who feel interested in the subject as well. Today I'm going to Germany, another country who stands in the frontier of the technology. It's just a one-day trip from Sweden. Sweden is a small country, but this country has very great innovation. This country has very successful company in the worldwide, like Ericsson, like Alfa Lava, Volvo, ABB. They are all successful companies, but why? A successful product must be used by the humans, which means it cannot be the very complicated interfaces. In my heart, a good HCI design product should have these four following attributes. The first one is predictability, which means that you can use product without the user manual. The second thing is the flexibility, which means that you can customize your interfaces. The third thing is the succinctness. Which means that interface is really, really simple and very easy to recognize. The last one, you should always have the user-centered design concept in your heart because we want to improve the efficiency of the users. Bye bye.